Hello, my name is Martin Fenstock. I'm the Sales and Marketing Manager here at Comprehensive. Today we're going to show you the proper way to terminate a two-piece and three-piece crimp connector. As you can see, I have my coax cable, which I've already stripped back to reveal the braid. On this side, we push the braid aside and strip back the dielectric so you can see the copper center conductor. To do your two-piece, you need to slide your crimp ring with the large side facing where the conductor is going to be. Place that over the cable, and now you can bring your shield down to make contact with the connector of the butt. Take your connector body, and you notice it is a two-piece, so the center pin is already installed. Slide it over and onto the cable, and push your cable up with the braided wire behind it. You know, small clippers can re remove some of that extra braid. Now take your crimp tool it up, crimp your bottom ring to the cable and the larger ring to the jacket of the connector. And there's your two-piece crimp. Now to do a three-piece crimp, we'll use some of our mini coax. First, we strip the cable back to reveal the braid. Pull that aside. We would also need to strip back some of the dielectric to reveal the center conductor. Take your crimp sleeve, which you'll notice is the same as the two-piece, but a lot smaller because we are using a mini coax. What you're going to do at this point is slide it right over the cable and onto the jack of the wire. At this point, take your center pin, slide it over your mini coax center conductor. Okay? Take your crimp tool, place it on your cable, and crimp the center pin. Now you can take your BNC connector, slide it down just so you feel it snap into the body of the BNC. Push your shield up, and again with a small wire stripper you can trim your shield now. Take your sleeve that you placed on the cable originally, slide it up over the body of the connector, encompassing the shield right onto the body. Now you will take your crimp tool, and just like we crimped the other one, you're going to crimp body first, I'm sorry, the cable first onto the small part of the crimp ring. And there's your hex crimp. And then for your larger one, you crimp that right in there. And there's your connect. Solid. If you have any further questions or would like to contact us, you can visit us on the web at www.comprehensiveinc.com or you can call us at 800-526-0242. Thank you.